Welcome to episode 115. Are you ready for the adventure of a lifetime? No matter your destination, the travel specialists at 3D Travel Company are there to help. Just head on over to my website, www.whodidthatvoice.co, and click the Book Now button on the left-hand side to get your free quote today. Welcome to Who Did That Voice, the show where we take an in-depth look at voiceover. And now, here's your host, Trenton Larkin. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Today, we are doing a tribute episode to an actor who is sadly no longer with us, but is an actor that left a big imprint on me through a Disney animated feature film that I grew up loving and still to this day have a very fond place for it in my heart. So we are going to play a clip. Uh, it's between Robin Hood and Little John. Yes, our character today we are talking about is the voice behind Robin Hood from Disney's 1973 production, uh, animated production of Robin Hood. Uh, so the clip we are going about to hear uh they robin and little john have been chased through the forest by a bunch of guards shooting arrows uh robin ends up getting an arrow in his hat and here's kind of the scene that unfolds i hope you guys enjoy this clip and the discussion to follow you know something robin you're taking too many chances chances you must be joking that was just a bit of a lark little john yeah take a look at your hat that's not a candle on a cake. Hello. This one almost had my name on it, didn't it? They're getting better, you know. You've got to admit it. They are getting better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The next time, that sheriff will probably have a rope around our necks. <sighs> Pretty hard to laugh hanging there, Rob. Huh. The sheriff and his whole posse couldn't lift you off the ground. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, watch it, Rob. That's the only hat I've got. Oh, come along. You worry too much, old boy. You know something, Robin, I was just wondering? Are we good guys or bad guys? You know, I mean, uh, are robbing the rich to feed the poor? Rob? That's a naughty word. We never rob. We just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. Borrow? <laughs> Boy, are we in debt. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Our tribute episode today is dedicated to the late Brian Bedford. Brian was born on February 16, 1935 in the market town of Morley, which is located in West Yorkshire, England. Born to Irish Catholic parents, his father Arthur Bedford was a postal worker while his mother Ellen O'Donnell worked in a weaving mill. Growing up, Brian and his family were marked by years of poverty and family illness. The home where Brian grew up was run down, had no running hot water, and the whole family shared one outhouse. Sadly, while living at home, two of his three older brothers died at a young age from tuberculosis, and his father even took his own life. As you can see, Brian did not have an easy life and had to work hard every single day to achieve his hopes and dreams. While Brian was in his youth at about age 15, he decided to join the Bradford Civic Theater, which allowed him to show the world his obvious talents for acting. During his time with the Civic Theater troupe, he realized that acting was his true passion. After getting a taste of what it was like to be an actor, he decided to pursue acting as his career. Brian believed that to be the best, you had to train with the best, and so he auditioned for his chance to study at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London. Considering that he was a poor lad with little money to his name, he was awarded a scholarship for his tryout performance which allowed him to study at the Royal Academy. During Brian's time at the Royal Academy, some of his fellow classmates would join him in stardom, actors such as Albert Feeney, Alan Bates, and Peter O'Toole. Peter is probably best known for portraying Lawrence of Arabia in the live-action 1962 feature film called Lawrence of Arabia. If this movie doesn't ring any bells, perhaps you know Peter O'Toole better as the man behind the voice of Anton Ego. Anton was the food critic from Disney's 2007 animated feature film, Ratatouille. At the time of Brian's passing, his acting career spanned over 50 years and had taken him all over the world from his work in London's West End to working in Canada at the Stratford Festival to working in New York City and so much more. No matter where Brian performed, he excelled as an actor, both on and off the stage. Most of Brian's career consisted of productions done either on Broadway or in off-Broadway productions. His career, however, was not limited to the stage, as he was also in about 35 different films and television shows. During Brian's extensive acting career, he was fortunate enough to land a role in an animated Disney production that would later become a Disney classic. 
he got the chance to play the lovable and heroic fox from Disney's animated adaptation of Robin Hood, which was released in 1973. This film was one that I could not get enough of as a kid, and it is still one of my all-time favorite Disney animated movies to this very day. Brian's skills not only included acting, but playwriting and directing as well. He toured internationally performing his one-man shows of his own creation, but made Stratford Festival in Canada his artistic home. He performed in over 50 productions there in Canada, which are some of his most celebrated roles. During the course of Brian's career, he had been nominated seven times for a Tony Award, but only came away winning one of his seven nominations, which he won back in the year 1971. In 2013, due to illness, Brian was forced to withdraw from the current Stratford production he was involved with in Canada. At the time he withdrew from the production, his illness did not seem severe, and many thought he was going to recover quickly and rejoin the Stratford production once more. Unfortunately, to everyone's surprise, he did not recover quickly and started down a three-year journey of illness that led to his eventual passing just three years later. Sadly, on January 13, 2016, we lost the great and ever-so-talented Brian Bedford to cancer. At the time of Brian's passing, he was 80 years old, and his birthday was just a month away, almost to the day. Brian Bedford's story is an example to all of us that, like the phoenix who rises from the ashes and is born anew, we can all rise from our adversities and achieve greatness. All we have to do is follow our dreams and passions, no matter what. We can all achieve greatness and impact the world if we only believe in our dreams enough to pursue them as Brian did. My tribute episodes are done to commemorate and honor those who have gone before us. I do these episodes so that their memories may live on forever in the joy they continue to bring us even after they are gone. Well, everyone, I sure hope you enjoyed today's tribute episode to Brian Bedford, best known for voicing Robin Hood on the 1973 Disney animated classic. And if you did, please find me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram by searching Who Did That Voice? I would love to hear from you. You know, a question you might ask yourself is, where can I listen to Who Did That Voice? That's an excellent question. You can hear us on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, YouTube, and our website at www.whodidthatvoice.co. Click the Episodes tab and listen away. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for this episode. Join us next time for our special guest, Morgan Berry, the voice of Silver Sable from Marvel Avengers Academy. You won't want to miss this episode. Hey, do you ask yourself who did that voice? Well, if you do, go to our website, www.whodidthatvoice.co, and click on the Episodes tab. Choose an actor, pick their name, and see pictures from the different characters they voiced in their career. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next time for more discoveries on Who Did That Voice. <laughs>